McKinnon walks in. He scores. Nathan McKinnon is certainly a hard trophy candidate. Panarin to the net. Scores. When Panarin's out there, they're fine. When he's not, they got some work to do. Dry saddle driving to the net. Scores. He's not in the Hart Trophy discussion. He is the Hart Trophy discussion. The NHL's Hart Trophy is uh, given to the player judged most valuable to his team. Three valuable members of our team are joining us now. Eric Francis in Calgary, Ian McIntyre in Vancouver, and Chris Johnston in Toronto. Eric, I'll start with you. And uh, who do you think will win the Hart Trophy? Well, I think Leon Dreisaitl is going to win it, and I think Leon Dreisaitl should win it. And uh, really, that wasn't the hard part to me of filling out my ballot of five nominees. Uh, th there was a considerable jump in my mind between Dreisaitl and number two, Nathan McKinnon. Uh, and, you know, we can discuss how the rest of us filled out our ballot. But to me, what clinched it for Dreisaitl to me was when Connor McDavid went down with an injury at a crucial time in the year, and Leon Dreisaitl's productivity actually increased and he helped carry that team and kept them in a playoff spot. Without him really stepping forward in that way, I'm not sure the Oilers are in the playoff picture. Uh, they're not in the top eight. They may be in the expanded playoff picture, but I, I think he was so crucial at that point in time when they needed him most. Do you think, Chris, that uh, Connor McDavid getting hurt is a big reason that Leon Dreisaitl will be the winner if he is your choice for the Hart Trophy? Well, I'm going to be the non-popular one here because he, he wasn't my number one choice uh, for the award this year. I think the context here is important. I gave him my number two vote out of 800 NHL players. By no means uh, do I think Leon Dreisaitl had a poor season. But I thought that Artemi Panarin, for me, was the most viable player uh, to his team, which is the true definition of the award. You know, the, the one difference, that the differ differentiating fact between Panarin and Dreisaitl for me was uh, that there's, there's a lot happening – and the defensive end when, when Leon Dreisaitl was on the ice for Edmonton, you know, they, they didn't get as many shots as the other team. Uh, he obviously had a supremely uh, impressive offensive season, but, you know, I, I do think that there is enough there that, that, you know, I don't know that the case was to be made that he was the most valuable to his team. Whereas if you looked at Panarin, the New York Rangers were two vastly different teams, whether he was on the ice or not, he led the league in even strength points. The Rangers scored 66% of the goals when he was on the ice and they were a team that was underwater when he wasn't. And I think he's the main reason that they were able to have a season that got them into this expanded playoff format. And I think that's probably where some of the other writers might mark him down is that, you know, if this was a 16 team format, the Rangers likely wouldn't have made the playoffs. But, you know, for me, he was the player that made the clearest positive impact on his team this season. Well, this, this is the great thing about not rehearsing these these calls <laughs> because we're just finding out that all three of us have voted for different players because wow. I did go with Nathan McKinnon one, Artemi Panarin two, and Dreisaitl three. I think the issue uh, in voting, and we've all voted a long time, is the award as it is defined, is it the most valuable player to his team or is it the best player in the league that season. And it's kind of somewhere in between because yeah. if you were purely going for the most valuable player to his team, you know, you'd have, you'd have candidates on some of the poorest teams uh, in the NHL. Um, you know, what was Jack Eichel to Buffalo? What was Thomas Shabbat to Ottawa? So in my mind, I, I, I try to keep in mind the, the actual definition of the award. And, and when you look at that, I mean, Dreisaitl had an outstanding season, but he played half of his five on five minutes with the player generally acknowledged to be the best player in the game now, Connor McDavid. When I look at Nathan McKinnon in Colorado, he's got twice as many points as any other forward. And I know he, he wasn't playing with chopped liver there. You know, they, they have Landis Gog and, and they have Miko Rantanen. Both those guys missed a significant amount of time with injury. And the impact that Nathan McKinnon had on his team, to me, made him the most valuable player in the league this year. You know, Ian, I think you make a great point. I just wanted to add to that, you know, about how this is a bit of a hybrid between MVP straight up for the league or MVP to your team. And that's where I go back to the hardest part for me was when I looked at my top five. Um, you know, and Panarin was number three on my list. Uh, I didn't have Connor McDavid in my top five. And that seems almost blasphemous if this is 
more of an MVP type vote. Cause I think we all agree he's probably the best player in the world today, but if it's the player deemed to be the best and most valuable to his team, how could you have two players from the same team on your ballot of five? That doesn't make sense to me. So I really wrestled with that as well as so many other things. I love your point about McKinnon getting almost twice as many points as Kale McCarr. Um, you know, there are so many valid arguments for all these guys. And then we bring in guys like David Pasternak, who has had an unbelievable year. But some people would say that he shouldn't have been on my top five because maybe Patrice Bergeron or Brad Marchand are, were more important to their team. So it, it's a hybrid. I, I really wish the league would look at getting what I think should be called the Wayne Gretzky Trophy, which is straight up the best player in the world this year. And I know that the players have their own award, uh, you know, for that, uh, the Ted Lindsay Award. But I would like to see a vote that we vote on as, as, uh, as writers who cover the league, which is straight up who's the best player in the league. Keep the Hart Trophy as well, but also have one just for Wayne Gretzky. It's about time we have a Gretzky Award anyway, guys. I mean, it should be for the best player, and that would solve this debate. And then we could all be golfing right now. The other yeah. challenge that I find is what to do with the goaltender, because if we're going to be strictly uh, player most valuable to his team, I mean, any given year, I think we could identify a goaltender that's elevated his team beyond where they would be. And, and that was part of what I wrestled with, even with Connor Hellebuck. And you know, I won't say that he was in – competition in my mind to be number one on my ballot but I ended up giving him the fourth spot on, on among my five choices and you know I always find that one difficult I know Carey Price won a couple years ago when he had a season that he rewrote some some pretty significant records but you know when, when you have that element thrown in there too it's almost like pitchers and MVP in baseball you know they already have an award for Cy Young you know I find the goaltending to be tough to judge in, in that mix. CJ and Ian I want to ask you two because you did not vote for Leon Dreisaitl is the fact that he has Connor McDavid as a teammate um, or anyone in that kind of scenario, will that always potentially weigh down your vote because of who he has on his team, but not necessarily on his line? Well, if, if Connor McDavid plays a full season or close to it, and, and, and Eric does make a good point about what Dry Seidel did when Connor McDavid was injured. But yeah, again, because I'm looking at the most valuable player to his team, a really simple exercise is. Think of the Edmonton Oilers without Dreisaitl this season. Obviously, it, not a playoff team far, far uh, down the standings from where they are now, but they still have Connor McDavid. Now, where was Colorado? Again, keeping in mind the injuries that the Avalanche had, where was Colorado this year without Nathan McKinnon? Where were the New York Rangers without Artemi Panarin? You know, it, it, is, it is tough when we, you have two of the best five players in the world, at least this season, uh, on the same team to say that one of them is the most valuable player in the league this year. The other complicating factor is that they obviously produce a lot on the power play where they play together. And, and you know, obviously, as, as Ian mentioned earlier, they did play some five-on-five -five minutes, uh, significant enough, you know, to affect the point totals that Dreisaitl put up. And you know, that, that makes this extra hard. I mean, what are we going to do? I think that that Pasternak probably suffered from that too. I mean, that Bruins line is considered by most to be, if not the best line in the league, you know, top three, I think on pretty much anyone's list. And so, you know, obviously those good players, great players benefit by being able to play together. And I think it makes it harder when we're trying to just identify one as, as a true heart candidate. And, and you know, to, to go back to your original question, Ogene, I still think it's likely Dreisaitl wins this award. And that, that won't even upset me. It was just, you know, in, in my process of voting, you know, I had him number two this, this season. But, you know, I, I don't – it's hard to know what 150-plus writers are going to think. But it wouldn't surprise me in the least because we've seen so often the player that leads the league in scoring, and he did have a pretty healthy lead in scoring, uh, ends up winning the, the Hart Trophy. Yeah, Panarin uh, actually led the NHL in five-on-five -five scoring this year. He had more five-on-five -five points than Leon Dreisaitl or Nathan McKinnon. Well, 56 different players have won the Hart Trophy in the NHL. We wait to see who the 57th player will be in the year 2020 and this season. Eric Francis in Calgary, Ian McIntyre in Vancouver, Chris Johnston in Toronto. Guys, thanks for the input.